an update on the uh, Gasworks Peckett, the 7mm 014 Harrogate Gasworks Peckett. As you can see, they're coming along. There's a pair of these things. Uh, printed bodies have come out very nicely. And we have a pile of bits here. Uh, we've got bearings and we've got uh, coupling rods, uh, jointed coupling rods, which are, are milled. They work fine. Uh, and we also have, of course, uh, outside cranks, also milled. And we have slide bar units, which I can throw about. These slide by units I make like this as an elongated U-shape so that once they're soldered in position uh, on the motion bracket, uh, this bit here then gets trimmed off. But it's much, much easier to handle them uh, as a U as opposed to individual bars like this. Um, we The... Uh, uh, cylinder end covers uh, and here we have the front cylinder end covers uh, they all have their retaining nuts and studs that's a dressmaker's pin uh, lying on top of one so you can see how small the nuts and studs are they're really very, very small. And by my finger, that gives you a sense of scale. And those are CNC'd on the Stepcraft mill there. And it seems to be capable of extraordinarily delicate work if you set it up reasonably well. So very, very pleased with that machine. So that's um, the progress on that pile of bits. I'm still waiting on wheels. I've only got two wheel sets that that one sat on at the moment. Uh, so I'm waiting on more wheels. But meanwhile, um, I bought uh, a kit for from high level for uh what was it it was a load hauler gearbox and i've just spent an hour assembling it and this is it and this is in conjunction with a 1219c uh hl power cordless motor not very cheap 27 pound for the motor um but you know if you're going to spend this time on a loco you you want the power unit to be a, a nice unit. The gearbox went together with little trouble. It takes time and you've got to take great care over it. But it went together fine. And uh, you can see I've temporarily put one of the axles through it with uh, cranks. On each side and I'm just going to put some volts through it and there you are it's churning away very slowly and in fact that's at 0.03 volts um, it did start off earlier sorry 0.3 volts uh, and that's at 0 0.1 volts. So it'll run very slowly. Obviously, this is under no load. Um, I dare say the load of the loco will uh, slow it down, a, 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 well, make it work harder. But nonetheless, it's a very impressive uh, motor and gearbox combination and if I whop it up to a full 
I'm going to shove it up to 12 volts. This hasn't been run in at all. I only finished this 10 minutes ago. And that's it at bang on 12 volts. And this is the 120 to 1 load hauler. And a very nice bit of kit it is. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So this will certainly be going under the two rail version. Um, whether I also put this, uh, or probably actually a lower ratio one, possibly a, um, a 60 to 1 version under a radio control one. The radio control one, I don't know, because uh, I'll get a nominal 3.7 volts out of radio control, and this is it running at 3.7 volts, and that looks to me about 60 RPM, and I should like uh, 100 RPM at that voltage. So if I choose a different ratio to give me 100 RPM at that voltage, this 12 volt motor might still be all right. It'll be weaker, of course, but that may not be a problem. It looks to be a very impressive motor. As I say, it's the 1219 uh, uh, power callers, also from high level. So very, very nice combination. Very pleased with it. Uh, but uh, thought people might be interested to see progress on these beasties.